and you know, clap your hands. I'm not feeling you. If you're happy and you know, clap your hands. You know, the reason why that person is not telling you, he's jealous. He just jealous. That's why he's not telling you. Tell the person behind you. You are so precious. Oh, tell the person behind you, you are so precious. Tell him that you are a queen. Say, I am a queen. I am a queen. Oh, the Bible says that whatsoever a man take it, so he shall be. Amen. If you declare it, it shall happen. Say, I am a queen. Somebody say, I am a queen. I am a queen. I'm not hearing the men. Say, I am a king. I am a king. Say, tender. Somebody say, tender. So that those of you here are being in service with you. Somebody say, tender. Jesus. God is good all the, all the time. Tonight is a wonderful night. It takes for a day for the life of an individual to be changed. There are times in your life you need a man in your life. There are times in your life you may meet an angel. And let me tell you something. It is very important for you to confront the angel and tell the angel that you are to take my destiny. Something has to happen to my life before, before I let you go. The other day, the Bible said that Jacob had encountered with an angel. And he said, I've been struggling all the days of my life. But tonight, enough is enough. I am not compromising. Oh my God. I am not giving you away. I am not letting you go unless you bless me. I came here this time to tell somebody if you have the spirit of determination, something positive will happen to your life. Victor Busibwate. Yes. He's my father. Amen. Yes. Some of you know him, eh? 
and uh, we have power chapel here every Sunday. What about that, right? Every Sunday. Every Sunday. Uh, please, where do you meet? Wonderful. You know, uh, uh, because he's not my spiritual father. And Power Chapel is my church. Amen. So if you're here, then you have to attend to Power Chapel. Amen. Oh, do you love it? Do you love it? I'm telling you, the prophetic and the anointing that is so powerful. And uh, let me tell you something. I remember there was a guy I used to pray with. Because one of my daughters in Ghana, back home in Ghana. Uh, uh, I used to pray with one of my daughters and he, she brought one uh, uh, experience. And then I used to pray with them. And one day, this young man decided, penetrated, and went and set through to find where Prophet Eric has been receiving his reward. And then he said, he went and he told his wife, Guess what? I have found him. You know, man of Prophet Eric has been giving this prophecy and so called, but you know something? I see the main man. Amen. Amen. He said, I have seen the main man. And he said, guess what? He went there and he said, wow, I have seen where my prophet Eric has been receiving his revelation. Yeah. Oh, are you with me, somebody? Yeah. Oh, are you with me? So if you're here, you have to go to Power Chapel. Somebody put your hands together for Jesus. Yeah. Oh, put your hands together for Jesus. Yeah. 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 Every Sunday, you have to go there. I'll let you, man of God, I'll let you uh, announce the address well. So because we are not here, we are in Montreal. You know, so if you're here on Sunday, you can go and do service, go have a worship with you. Amen. Put your hands together for Jesus. Okay. Breaking limitations of life. Tell the person behind you, breaking limitations of life. Breaking limitations of life. Oh, tell the person behind you, breaking limitations of life. Breaking limitations of life. Okay, if you have the Bible, be with me to 1 Samuel chapter number 17, verse number 14. 1 Samuel. Chapter number 17, verse number 4. I am so familiarized with my pulpit. You know? This pulpit is from Presbyterian pulpit. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Okay. Are you there? First Samuel chapter 17. Are you there? Okay, verse number 4. If I can read it. And a champion went out from the camp of the old son. The Bible said that and a champion. Tell the person behind you, a champion. champion. You know, tonight I'm not feeling you people. I, oh, is it because of the cold? <laughs> if you ask those who know me, I'm a, 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 I'm just a valid man. Amen. Yeah. Tell the person behind you, a champion. champion. Push it. Say a champion. A champion. My sister, push it. Say a champion. Doing it. Say, push it. Say, a champion. A champion. The Bible says that among the Philistines, there derived a champion. In life, there are a lot of champions. Are you hearing me? I say, are you here with me? In life, there are a lot of champions. But the secret about life is that you have to confront life. One great man of God said, life is not fair. Life will give you what you want. But life will give you what you fight for. Prophet Victor, right? So anytime you fight, you confront an issue or you confront something, I'm telling you, there will be a change. If you want a change in your life, then you have to confront the issues of life. I don't know the kind of thing that you are passing through, people of God. I don't know the kind of agony and affliction and pain. But I'm here tonight to tell somebody that oh, tonight it is over. It is over. The Bible said, we may be in the night by God coming in the morning. I can see victory in Canada. Oh my God. Lift up your two hands. I say, I can see victory in Canada. I can see the truth coming. I can see miracles happening. Somebody lift up your two hands and come and say, I believe. One, two. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three.
Saul was the tallest man in Israel. The election of Saul was an election of man. So they chose Saul. He was the tallest man. And they chose him. Now, it became to a pass that the Bible said there was a champion in, in, in Philistia called Goliath. And he used to come and afflict the Israelites. And, and, and then Goliath said something, declared something. Oh, he said, if you people are strong, then you have to bring somebody among you to battle up with me. That's right. Now, all the men ran away and they went to hide themselves. Oh, are you here with somebody? There are some men, they are women. When they came for war, they will run away and hide in, in, in the bed, you know, under the bed. But thank God there are some women here, they are like soldiers. Even in time of storms, in time 